Time now to welcome CBS 46 political analyst Dr. Rashad Ritchie to go in depth on this and other topics. Uh, so it's great to have you here, Rashad. And just one thing, we know that David Perdue, Georgia senator, has spoken out on this. Uh, he's quoted as saying it's outrageous to call the tweets racist. Also, we have Johnny Isaacson, who over the last couple of hours has tweeted seven times, none of which is a statement condemning or supporting the president, at least not yet. But when it comes to the grand scheme of things, does this congressional vote mean anything? Does it have any teeth? It doesn't mean a damn thing. Next question. <laughs> Keep in mind, this political atmosphere will not allow the needle to move one way or the other. They have been calling President Trump racist before he became president. It did not stick to him then. Mm -hmm. It will not stick to him now. I understand why Democrats have to do this. They must do what their party demands, which is an actual resolution and a public denouncing of what he said because mm -hmm. the tweet was racist at face value. He's trying to provide some context to it. I don't think it's working for independents and it's definitely not working for Democrats. Meanwhile, the president will definitely uh, raise his attention if he sees his poll numbers drop. His poll numbers did drop after Charlottesville. His poll no numbers did drop after the S-hole countries comment. Yeah. Uh, so is this really going to be how we get his attention if the poll numbers drop? That is possible. He does look at poll, uh, polling data. Mm -hmm. But let's be clear about the politics of racism. AOC and the squad, they're not the first ones to actually call President Trump a racist. I'm going to read a quote. The quote is, Donald Trump is a race-baiting, xenophobic, Religious bigot. Can I, is, ooh, ooh, can I guess? Who said that? Lindsey Graham. Lindsey back, Graham. Yeah, almost uh, three years ago. That's right. Lindsey Graham said this about then candidate Trump before an AOC even thought about running or other people who are now part of the congressional mm -hmm. delegation. So it is not something that liberals just made up or Democrats just decided to use as a political talking point. This has been said about the president based on his own insensitive remarks. Right. And for Trump supporters, that's kind of baked in sure. uh, when it comes to when we think about the 2020 election. And it's already here, uh, the cycle anyway. Uh, we shift gears to talk about the attorney general of New York. Uh, is in town, part of a big prosecutor's convention that was taking place right. here in the city. But you had her on your show, and we have part of that conversation. Take a look. This is the greatest country on earth, and that, those are the messages that we should be bringing and, and telling individuals in our country, as opposed to go back to your country and that African countries are A countries and, um, and just spreading, spewing hate. Yeah. That's not what we represent and that's not who we are as Americans. Meanwhile, back in one of the biggest melting pots we have, New York City, she is actively looking into the Trump organization, looking into the president's background for any criminal activity. Did she reveal anything of that investigation? She revealed more, more than I thought she would, Thomas. So she has a very powerful position in New York as the chief prosecutor. She's the first ever elected African-American female to hold that post. She not only confirmed that there are multiple investigations into President Trump and his organizations, including his nonprofit, but she provided some background to that. She ran on the issue of being able to actually charge the president of the United States with a state charge. She said multiple times during that interview that President Trump is not above the law. And she went on to say that there's more to come. That was her last quote during that interview. What a tease, right? Yeah. Stay tuned. Exactly. All right, Rashad, thank you, sir. Thank you, As man. always, we appreciate it.